This short video explains the innovative portfolio trajectory of the master program Crisis and Security Management, or CSM for short. CSM has five main learning outcomes based on the Dublin descriptors for higher education. These five are characterized by 24 more specific intended learning outcomes. For instance, to attain knowledge and understanding, the program not only requires that graduates know and understand the body of knowledge in the field of crisis and security management, but also that they comprehend the societal, political, and administrative dynamics of issues. Understand what or who the stakeholders in the field are and how they function. And know the key principles of academic research. To apply knowledge and understanding, it is vital that graduates can independently define and analyze governance challenges and developments related to security and crises at multiple levels in various contexts. They are able to employ relevant theories and methodologies to address and analyze these challenges and developments. For making judgments, students are able to critically evaluate existing research. They are also equipped to draw conclusions based on empirical data, balanced argumentation, and sound methodologies. They can reflect on ethical and normative issues and on the effects of context and perception when they analyze crisis and security phenomena. In terms of communication, we expect graduates to be able to present research results, well-grounded argumentation, professional advice, and their normative positions in a debate both orally and in writing. Finally, for learning skills, we aim to teach students to become autonomous learners who stay informed on new developments and phenomena in their area of expertise, reflect on their own skills and conduct, and reflect on the challenges of their professional environment at different levels. We aim to meet these intended learning outcomes in our program in the following way. The three main courses are the same for all CSM students of all specialization tracks. Each course is completed with a specific assignment. For instance, students who use content analysis to analyze a terrorist's manifesto and to understand and assess ontological insecurity. They conduct a SWOT analysis to assess the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats to a security-related organization of their choice. And they write an essay on a news event, which they analyze in relation to the dilemmas between security and the rule of law. In the specialization tracks, we teach students four core research skills. The research skills are taught and assessed per track using theories and methods specific to each specialization. To acquire and demonstrate a research skill, students submit at least three assignments for each specialization course. For the skill literature review, assignments range from a systematic prisma type literature review, a review essay on several related academic works, or a comprehensive overview of a relevant academic debate on a topic within their field of specialization. For the course on the skill data collection, students collect data by creating and analyzing a survey, by conducting a discourse analysis on written documentation, or by designing an intervention and collecting data to test the intervention, depending on their specialization track. To assess the skill analysis, we test the student's ability to analyze wicked problems, perform a comparative study on their own selection of cases, or apply theoretical models to analyze a single case. Finally, to demonstrate the skill critical review of existing research, students will, for instance, peer review an academic article, pick apart an investigation report, or write a critical analysis on the strengths and limitations of academic scholarship to address a specific question. 
For each research skill course, the main assignment goes into the student's portfolio. At the end of the program, students obtain their final credit by presenting and reflecting on the portfolio they have built throughout the year. They submit a problem analysis on a given case, which is an assessment of its dimensions and stakeholders, and a proposal on how to further study and address the problem with the skills and knowledge they have acquired. They also submit a paper in which they reflect on their learning trajectory. When both papers are sufficient, the student presents two research projects from the portfolio and discusses what they have learned in a final defense and graduation meeting with two supervisors. All in all, we aim to enable students to become independent academic professionals, and we provide them with a wide variety of perspectives, tools, tests, and teachers, and a great master's diploma.